work from home today. I didn't feel well, but I feel much better now. So I'm here going to Bobaloka to work on some code. I'll see you guys love it. Thank you. What is up YouTube? I hope everyone is doing well today. Today's video is going to be kind of different. As you guys know that my channel isn't a normal coding channel. It isn't a normal channel that just talks about code all the time. And so I'm very humbled and I'm very thankful for this opportunity and everyone out there who gives me the support. Because of how much my channel has been growing, I've been getting a lot of people, boot camps, um, coding websites, companies that all have to do with teaching code online. But as of right now, I'm currently transitioning from a front-end developer to a back-end developer. I don't have a lot of experience in back-end. Um, because of how fast and my company is growing and because of how many clients we're getting and because of how busy I am and because I have the main front end develop at my work. In result, I haven't been able to do as much back end as my technical director wants me to. But now let me tell you something, me, I am someone that has absolutely no experience in back development. Fortunately, I've had the opportunity to get my feet wet in back-end development. I've been able to get my feet wet in working with the command line, how to work with Vagrant, how to work with um, Heroku, um, all these amazing apps I've been able to do because of this online bootcamp that I finally agreed to work with and I really love what they're doing. I am working with the Firehose Project. I am going to an online bootcamp. Uh, the Firehose Project, they actually ended up contacting me and they asked me, Chris, you know what, we really like what your channel represents, we really like how you're really all about code and you're open to learning different languages and you're really building a relationship with your community. And so they contacted me and I told them, you know what, but how about this, give me a, a while to go through one of your courses. And I told them, give me, a, just let me go through one of your courses, it might not be quick because I'm pretty busy, uh, but let me go through one of your courses, let me build something with it, and then I'll do a review on it. And so, they did. But before I get into the app that I made, before I get into what they've actually allowed me to make through one of the courses, let me talk about something first. First of all, what I want to talk about is the perception that so many people out there have about boot camps. Um, a lot, the perception is this, if you go to a boot camp, you'll get hired as a developer right away. No, that's not true at all. And what do I mean by that? Wait, Chris, you're, okay, this boot camp, Online bootcamp is sponsoring you and you're saying going to bootcamp doesn't guarantee you that you'll get a job. Man, you are the worst person to make a video for them. What I mean by that is this. Just because you go to a bootcamp does not mean that you will become a developer or get hired right away. You have to find the right bootcamp. It can't just be any bootcamp. Just because a bootcamp is really big, uh, just because they seem like they have a lot of students, doesn't mean that place is good. It probably just means that they advertise well. It just means that they have more resources. But right off the bat, one of the reasons that I really wanted to go head in and dive in with the Firehose Project is this. Number one, the people who actually found the Firehose Project, they were already teaching people how to code before the company even existed. And what they would do is just, they would just teach people how to code. And as they were teaching people how to code, how to learn Ruby, how to learn Ruby on Rails, how to work with frameworks, how to learn JavaScript, how to become a developer. What people would constantly do over and over and over again is that they would go to the owners, the founders, and they would say, hey, have you ever just thought of starting your own boot camp? Like, people would go to them over and over again saying, wow, you guys are really good at teaching. Why don't you start your own school? Teach people how to code. You shouldn't just be here. Then boom, that's why they have the Firehose Project. The Firehose Project isn't like other boot camps out there. What I like about them is that, unlike other boot camps out there, the Firehose Project gives you two ways to learn. You can learn either as a full-time student or a part-time student. You can either go all out full-time and learn how to code through their courses online, which you will have access to people who can help you in the community as well. Or if you're working full-time like I am, you can go through the part-time course and gradually increase your knowledge as a developer and get better that way too. Either way, it's totally fine. That was one of the reasons that I agreed to work with this bootcamp, simply because they give you an opportunity to learn and to learn well. What I want to talk about next is this. Who should attend a boot camp and who should not? The people that should attend a boot camp are those who just want a structured way to help you get into a new career path. For example, I'm not disciplined enough to teach myself code. I'm not disciplined my, I'm not disciplined enough to keep myself accountable in learning code because what can happen is that maybe I'll, I'll be on fire now, but a couple months down the line, I'm gonna stop. Or I don't wanna just have to read all the, these books hoping that I'll find the correct path to get a job as a developer. I just wanna know how to become a developer right away. 
to get me straight into that. Uh, and not just that, you know, I have the funds, I have savings, or you know what, I could take a small loan and dive into something if it's really gonna help me out. Then if this is you, if you're one of those three things that I just mentioned, then boot camp is for you. First of all, people will be like, Chris, what do you mean boot camp? Chris, you taught yourself code through another website. But why are you telling people to go join a boot camp? Is because I got lucky, to be honest. Like, yes, people think I'm so amazing because I got a job as a developer in three months, and that is amazing, but I'm not amazing. I just got really lucky. Like, man, if I didn't get hired in three months, like if I missed that opportunity, I probably wouldn't have been a developer in about maybe, to be quite honest, maybe nine months to a year. Maybe six months because of how like hungry I was and I wanted to make sure I got a job right away. But that doesn't happen to everyone. But who is boot camp not for? You should not go to boot camp, number one, if you don't have the funds to do it. Straight and simple. Boot camps are not cheap. They're expensive for a reason. But at the same time, they're a lot cheaper than going to college. They're a lot cheaper than going to university, especially at the Firehose Project because of the experience they have. And to be honest, I've spoken to people from the Firehose Project and they are really dedicated to their students who are learning and taking their courses. And that blew me away. Uh, second of all, when I email them, they tend to respond to me right away as well, which shows me that they really care about this company and they really want to grow it. So let me give you my review now about the Firehose Project. Now, going through the courses, I've learned so much with them from just the first app they asked me to make which is called the splurty app and the splurty app is where you work with ruby ruby on rails you work with bootstrap you work with vagrant and you work with heroku and you learn they teach you how to upload things to github and the reason i like this is because pretty much the firehose project brought me to a world i was not comfortable in the one of the main reasons i was so scared to move on to back in development and to stay in front of development is because i mean i'm really good at it i honestly felt like i was an alien in a brand new world that i've never been in I felt like, like, what, what am I getting myself into? What am I going? What's happening right now? How do I work with the command line? You know, how do I work with Heroku? How do I work with GitHub? How do I even upload or push something into GitHub? And how do I do all these things? Usually to learn all these things, you need to go to amazon.com and you have to buy all these books. But what's great about working with the Firehose Project is that all these resources that usually would like search on Google and everywhere from all these books and all these videos on YouTube, etc., is brought to you through their courses. But yeah, anyway guys, so that would be the end of the video. Thank you everyone for watching. I genuinely do appreciate all the support that everyone gives me. Um, if you haven't yet, please make sure to like this video. Drop a comment down below interact with me i respond to all my comments i might take a day or two but i respond to all of them so try to check your comments from the previous videos to see if i respond to that or not um and if you haven't yet please make sure to check out my instagram and my twitter below i post on twitter literally every single day and instagram i'm finally getting back into it more and more but i post stories on instagram all the time and i'm posting about two or three posts a day on instagram as well so make sure to go ahead and subscribe below if you haven't add me on my social media if you haven't or and just hit me up on a dm hit me up on twitter hit me up on instagram and i'll see you guys later thank you for watching peace